Welcome to Yellowstone. In May of 2013, my grandparents, my wife and I, took my grandparents' motorhome on a road trip from the Phoenix area where we reside up to Wyoming to the Yellowstone National Park. When we arrived at the park, uh, we were greeted by bison, which we did see many bison during the trip. I actually learned that they are the, this is the only area where bison have survived and thrived since prehistoric times. Here I am in front of um, the first set of pools and thermal vents features uh, we visited. There's many walking trails where you can walk and overlook these areas and get great photo times. This is a mud pot where water is mixed with mud and sulfur. It creates very awesome looking natural features. Here's another mud pot, more of a red color. Here's Brittany on one of the walkways in front of geysers. There's thousands of geysers in the area. We have photographs of a few, not all, all are accessible by trails. And the most famous of all, Old Faithful. Um, here you can see the crowd waiting for Old Faithful to erupt. And here it begins. We have several photographs of the geyser in action all the way from the beginning to its highest point. It was a, uh, it was a great show. Something you definitely want to visit and see at some point. Here's a picture of the Midway map. The Midway Geyser Basin was kind of my favorite part of the entire trip. There, the water runs off into a river right in this area. Multiple bacteria beds that create colors. That's what you see in the green and red in this picture next to the water. That's actually all bacteria. And the water is so hot in the ground, that's what creates this steam because the outside temperature is so cold. Here's a picture of a reddish colored bacteria bed. Um, this is one of the more popular areas in the entire park with lakes and bacteria beds and a, a walkway built where you can walk over and do a mile loop over the entire, entire area. Great area for pictures with the forest in the background to snow-capped mountains. We enjoyed our trip and had a lot of fun at this point. This is Gibbon Falls. It is the largest waterfall in the park, which is right next to the road. Pretty neat. You can stop and overlook it and take photographs. Here's my grandparents. Um, I think this falls actually, what did it say, 308 feet. There's a picture of Brittany where she didn't enjoy the smell of this area. There's sulfur coming out of the ground and had a, quite the stench of rotten eggs. Here's a mud creation that has uh, hardened up near Mammoth. This is the Mammoth uh, Basin area falls. It has a white tint to all the bacteria that grows in this area. Looks like snow, but it's actually a hard um, element. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my Yellowstone vacation. 